Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can harness the power of both Elementor Pro and the latest update to the Ocean WP theme and the plugin pack, or specifically the Hooks plugin. So we're going to take a look at how we can use the two of those together to get really creative with our web design. So let's check that out. Now to follow along with this video, you're going to need the Pro version of Elementor and you're going to need the Webhooks plugin for Ocean WP. If you don't own them already and you're thinking of purchasing them, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. It costs you no difference in price, but it helps the channel out by giving a small percentage back. Anyway, let's take a look at what we need to do to harness the power of these two incredibly cool plugins together. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use Elementor Pro to create the design. Then we're going to use Ocean WP's hooks to implement that in specific pages. If you want more detail on using the Ocean WP hooks, there's already a video that gives you a good primer on how to use those. I'll link that in the description below and also up in the top corner right now. So check that out if you're not sure how to use Ocean WP's hooks. Okay, so what we need to do is jump over to the left hand side and we're going to come into Elementor and into My Library. The reason we're doing this is because we're going to harness the shortcode option. So. Let's create a new template. So let's just say add a new template. For this example, we're going to call this one special bonus. Okay, so we're going to specify a couple of other things now to make sure that everything is laid out nice and neat because this is just going to make up part of the page. So we don't want any other elements to take over. What we need to do is come to the template on the right hand side and specify element or canvas so we get rid of any headers and footers and so on. We're also going to come down and say disable any margins. And finally, we're going to come over to the content layout. And we're going to specify 100% full width or full width. It doesn't really matter too much which one we use on there. Okay, so we've done the basics. I'm going to hit publish on that one so we can sort of save that out. Then we're going to come to edit with Elementor so we can start editing inside the visual editor. Once that's done, we're going to let that load up and we're going to start getting creative with our design. Now, this is just going to be a simple sort of banner header, but you can get as creative as you want to with this. And then you can use this inside the hooks inside the Ocean WP theme. So let's just start off, say add a new section, drop that in there. And all we're going to do is create something really simple. So we're going to drag up, we'll drop a header in there and we'll just put that and we'll call this subscriber bonus. And we'll just style that a little bit. So we'll set that to be centered and we'll come down and we'll specify, we do some typography and so on. So we'll change the color of that, set the typography. So let's just change the font. I'm going to call this Oswald, bump the size up a little bit so it stands out. And then we'll just go and set the weight and so on, just so we get the way we want. Uh, we'll uppercase that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Next thing, we're going to come in and we jump back and we're going to specify just some text in there. Drop that in there and we'll also come back and we'll put a little divider line in there. Just so we've got something nice and creative. So let's just style this the way we want. Set that to centered, a nice light gray. Say so nothing I'm doing this particularly complex, but it gives you a good idea of, of what kind of thing you can do. And in there we can sort of drop in a simple message. So there's my message. All I'm gonna do now is just style that a little bit. So again, same kind of thing. Jump over to the styles, specify the font, the alignment, typography, and so on. We'll bump the size of that up so it stands out a little bit more. And finally, we come back into this and we'll just go on there and we'll set that to be bold. And finally, we'll specify we want this to be uppercase as well. Okay, so there's our call to action. There's our big, big spender bonus discount, so on, whatever you want to call it. So let's save on that. We've created everything we want on there now. So I can just jump back out of this. We'll close that down and go back to the dashboard. Once we go back to the dashboard, we just hit update to make sure that everything is saved out. And finally, we're going to come over to the theme panel, sorry, the Elementor panel. I'm going to come back to my library and then we can see we've got everything in there. Now, the reason you need to have the pro version of Elementor is for this library section and the ability to use the short codes. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that, copy it. So we've now got that ready to put into our hook section. So let's just jump over and take a look at how we can start working with these hooks and how we can call this up. So to start using this, all we need to do is come to the theme panel and we want to come down to the hooks section. So as long as you've got the hooks plugin installed, you're going to have this available to you. 
Now, like I say, I've covered this in a previous video, we go into more detail, but all I'm gonna do is specify where I want this to be displayed. So you can see on the right hand side, I've specified I want this before the content. That's gonna make sure it sits in between the header and the actual main content of our page. I'm gonna leave the priority as is. I'm gonna specify condi conditional logic and also specify user roles. Now, all I need to do is paste that little bit of short code in there. So that's now gonna reference the template that we just created. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna say we want to show this on a specific page. So we're gonna say we want to show this, scroll into the shop section, and we say we wanna show this on checkout. We're gonna add another row. We wanna show this on both the checkout and the actual cart page. So it gives two opportunities to put in this new code for the discount. So again, come down and we'll choose basket. So we've now got that specified in both of the different sections we want. Finally, what we need to do is come in and specify who can actually see this. We don't want everybody to see this. This is a subscriber discount. So we can come in and say show if, and you can see we've got subscriber as an option. So I'm gonna click on subscriber, and then all I need to do is click on save hooks. Now, providing that the end user meets the criteria and they're on the relevant page, so they're a subscriber and they're on either the checkout or the basket page, they're going to see our nice big header at the top of the page. So let's just jump over to the page on the site and let's take a look at that in action. So we're looking at the test section now for what we just created and you can see that I'm on the shop page. If we take a look at the basket, you see I've got something added into my basket already. So I can go into the checkout section or the basket section if I click on the basket and go to view it, you'll find that because I'm not a subscriber, I don't have that option available to me. So I'm just a normal end user that's just look at the website, so I don't see that option. Now, obviously, if I become a subscriber, I'll see the option. So now let's log out, log back in as a subscriber, and I can show you exactly what happens. So I've logged back in, added a product to my basket, so now I'm logged in as a subscriber with something in my shopping basket. So now if I check out the shopping basket, go to view basket, and you see now we have the big section at the top that says special subscriber discount. I can use the big spender option on there. If I jump over to the proceed to checkout page, you'll see that it's also listed there. But if I go back to my shop, for example, we don't see that option on there because the conditional logic we've used has allowed us to use both conditional logic to specify what page it's on and also to tie in and start using the short code for that particular design that we've set up inside Elemental Pro itself. And that's it. That's what I wanted to show you, how easy it is to use Elementor Pro to design great looking sections that you can then harness the power of the Ocean WP hooks and conditional logic to pull those in into any page, into any section you want. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content that's added every single week. If any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else added on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.